This here is the Magic J Bay craft that I rode uh, this year in the contest. But interestingly enough, I actually rode this in the contest here last year. actually a design that Mike made for Parker to do the QS on. Parker didn't really like it and then I took it and rode the first one and really liked it. I was like, oh, I feel like this would be a good J-Bay board. So I made me another one that's a 5.11 and a half for some reason. I thought it was going to be a 5.11. It's 18 and 5 eighths minus uh, 2 and 5 sixteenths. And it's really just a prototype but Parker was kind of calling it the ace and then we kind of like morphed it into maybe doing like a Fred Rebel 2. It's really kind of like a boat to more of like a traditional Channel Island surfboard. Um, it's a lot flatter than a lot of the boards in our line now. Um, it's got really mellow concave, but the thing just hauls ass. Super fast down the line, really drivey, uh, but still goes on rail really easily. But it's interesting, like when I put it on rail, it turns onto the rail really easily, but then you can sit on the rail for really long. And to me, that's kind of the what you really need at J Bay is a board that you can, you know, it's such a fast downline wave. Like you need to be able to set a rail, but then really decide how long you want to go with that rail turn. Um, if you want to cut it short, or if you really want to like hang on a bottom turn for like a few seconds. much just the mentalist board I've had in a long time. Um, I rode it last year here in all my heats. I rode it at Portugal. I rode it at Bells this year and then I rode it back here at J-Bay after it sat in the shaping room for a few months. And I don't know if it's retired yet or not but we're gonna try to make a few more like it for sure.